Hello, this is Carrie with Create Love. Maybe I should call these the Car Chronicles. I wanted to jump on and talk to you about how we can be great at small things and maybe all things are small things. Um, I was listening to Charles um, Eisenstein the other day. Uh, I, I really am enjoying listening to and getting into his world a little bit more. It just makes a lot of sense to me, a lot of things that he says. And he was talking about this idea that um, we don't really know how change happens. And in this time of so much change and, you know, so much need for change, we don't actually know like how much of like the change that can come from just very like simple, simple actions. And I wanted to speak to this. I mean, I think this is very relevant in, in relationships. I think it's relevant like with everything that we encounter in the world today. Um, I think it was, I think Jordan Peterson said something in a media clip that I heard that he, that he said that he didn't realize the level of demoralization and hopelessness um, that was out there until he got a bigger platform and the amount of people that, that were feeling this, you know, like feeling basically what is the point? There's no way that I can win. And it's really interesting because in the relationship space and then in, you know, other spaces as well, I tend to hear that echoed among many different people in many different um, places and positions, uh, many different status levels, um, many different access, like levels of access to things. And I think this thing about this level of being demotivated or thinking that like things don't matter as much, I do think that there is, that there like, uh, for lack of, this is like going to be a fairly short video. So for lack of a more nuanced way to say this, I think that media and social media and the bias towards comparison um, just like tends to create that in people. I think there is the possibility to be informed or to use social media in a way that um, we are absorbing more inspiration and education um, than comparison and things, um, that either bring us into a more than or less than, or in some kind of like despair state state or lack of motivation. And I think that like left to its own devices, sort of this collective space of like social media brings in huge amounts of comparison and like not enoughness where like nobody can ever quite get to the place. I mean, many people talk about the rat race and it's like the rat race of like, where are you actually going? Or the ideas of like keeping up with the Joneses. And I think that there is something about the way that these systems have developed that a lot of people are feeling these things. And actually, actually what is so interesting is that we don't actually know um, the way that change works in an entire ecosystem like the multicultures and like the entire planet like how change actually works and one of the things that Charles Eisenstein was talking about is like we don't know how much these little impacts like these people that move around life with grace and in love in um uh, I think he talked about, he talked about sort of like the unsung heroes of like, uh, or the unglamorous ones working in service or, you know, when you're, um, people might have all different opinions about this, but when you're like, uh, you know, a mother or a father or a stay home father that are like very dedicated to children, that tends to be kind of like something that is less valued than other things. Um, there are lots of spaces 
that are less valued. Um, anything related to any kind of like caregiving, like education, all of these things tend to be less valued than like other spaces related to like um, status building or uh, direct making, uh, like making money directly. Um, these are a lot of influential like things. Um, internal beauty tends to be less valued than certain aesthetic, aesthetic uh, uh, um, preferences. Um, you know, there's lots of different ways and lots of different ways that people can grab on this, like not enoughness comparison and, um, or diminish themselves. And actually there are tremendous amounts of people that are doing really beautiful things. And in, in these beautiful things, in these beautiful moments, we have these choice moments, moment to moment. There is a choice moment, I think, in the movie, everything uh, all at once, the movie about like the metaverse of that, like every single choice and moment opens up a new universe of possibility, a new creative space in terms of possibility. And the thing about that, that bringing it more down to like a granular small level that is so interesting is that, yeah, you could call people you know, a lot of what I bring to this channel, you could call some things kind of Pollyannish or, you know, they bring like a certain flavor, everything. And I do think that the generally that the idea of love, um, joy, excitement, enthusiasm, uh, patience, kindness, compassion, these are the spaces, these are the inspiring spaces that bring about, you know, uh, changes that, we might not even realize, like realize the impact of these individual changes and in these individual choice moments, moment by moment by moment. And so in a world of, I mean, there's plenty of people out there doing motivational stuff, but in a world where sometimes we can feel demotivated or demoralized or like what we're doing actually doesn't matter. I think it is an important reminder to remember that like the little things, like we can be great, be, be really great at little things and these little things really matter. They definitely matter in terms of like our interpersonal lives and possibilities in the realm of like dating and relationship. It is the little moments that make all of these things without a doubt, this could be another video, but without a doubt, the people that have the most possibilities, um, whether or not they want to pick, pick up those possibilities, but have the most possibilities open to them in the dating stage are the ones um, that are the best communicators and can communicate with the most amount of grace. Uh, yes, I know there's a whole lot of other stuff related to attraction, and that's a would be like a whole long video there. And in general, the people that can connect and to communicate with grace tend to have tremendously uh, wider and more options if they decide that they want to go down whatever level of connection. And then we know that like in relationships, that actually it is, it is like the friendship. It is the small, the Gottman Institute talks about um, that how relationships are made on bits of connection, these small moments of connection that build up relationships over time and build trust over time. They're in these small, small moments. And all of us can be great at small moments. I think sometimes because there is this world of like comparison that we're in, um, that there can be this thing of like, you know, uh, at what point should I have achieved this thing by, or, you know, at what point should I be here or there or any other place? And I think that there is a lot of pressure that men feel in particular about achievement and women feel it as well. It's not just men. And I think that there is a lot of pressure that women feel about appearances and men feel the pressure about a level of appearances as well. And, um, and so like, you know, it's not, people are people, all people feel different things and different pressures and different comparisons. And the thing is though, that like what allows us on a soul level to have like a meaningful life, 
what allows us to go into the world and to contribute more is when we put, come from a space of, of enjoyment and growth and learning and um, possibility. Um, what allows us to be attractive people throughout our life from young to like older is connecting to the vibrancy that we are um, and you know like finding the unique things about us that are attractive to us and to others um, all of these spaces are spaces that are found in smaller moments and when we look at the thing of like oh you know should I be at a different level than I am right now, status or achievement uh, wise. Should I look differently than I look right now? Then we're, we're pulling ourselves away from the possibility of being in the very space that creates this possibility for more attraction, love, connection, achievement, um, growth, opportunities, And so it is in turning into these little spaces um, and finding the ways to connect to them, whether it be in joy and be in laughter. Um, you know, if we're going through a darker moment, be in compassion with ourselves. It's not tremendously easy to be joyful when we're going through a darker moment or dark night of the soul. But those are moments when like the compassion is the flavor of love. It is the flavor of the thing that brings us and allows us to connect to the moment, even if that is to ask somebody for help along the path. And all of these small moments, we could call them great. We could make them great. We could just call them gentle and kind. Whatever way works the most for you. And I really... I really think whether it is in having confidence and going out there to, you know, find connection, find love, to go out there and create a life that you're interested in, and to go out there into the world and, oh, I've got a neighbor going into her car. That's all right. I'm just going to keep on going. My kids always laugh at me. They're like, mom, you say uh, that's all right so much that now every time anything goes wrong in any space, so we're just like, that's all right. We're going to move on and we're going to, we're going to do the next thing. So there you go. Car Chronicles and Lessons from Carrie's House. Um, you can pick up that, that, that phrase that we have in my house. So that's all right. Let's move forward. And what can we learn from this? Um, I could, I could, I could focus in on what we can learn, what can we learn from this a bit more, both personally and, you know, in spaces that I'm in. Anyways, what can we learn from all of this? We actually, that'd be such an interesting question. I'm really going to dive into, um, Charles, um, Eisenstein's world a lot more. And I think there's so much possibility in terms of thinking about ways that are not completely naive, you know, but um, grounded in positivity um, in terms of making positive change in small and big ways. Um, I think that change, I'm not sure if great change can come from cynicism. I just, I'm, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that great change can come from cynicism. And I think it comes from, it can come from being connected to our heart and bringing hope to ourselves and to others in small and big ways. And so, you know, I was going to do, I did, actually did one version of this video and I haven't really seen it. I don't love it yet. So I'm going to redo it, but I was going to do, uh, again, uh, this video of like five, um, uh, tips for men to be a remarkable man out in the dating world. I think that men and particularly young men, um, can get very discouraged, um, and feel a little bit hopeless in terms of dating because of this completely false number that um, women are only interested in 20% of the male population and they're not interested in the other 80%. I haven't really found a numbers yet that back that up besides um, like a, a number from a dating app um, that was cited from OkCupid. I don't think that it's based in science. I think it's just like this urban, 
legend that people are putting out there and it certainly doesn't align with um, the amount of actual marriages that there are in um, in the United States. I don't know how much of, how many of them are heterosexual, but there's something like 40 to 50 percent. So right there, the, the numbers are off. The numbers are off, men, about um, how attractive you are and how many possibilities you are and how important the little things are. Men, the little things are important. Women, the little things are important, too. Like acting with grace. Um, uh, acting with grace is universally attractive and uh, uh, a mentor of mine uh, said something recently of like realizing the honor that it is not because you get something but just the honor that it is to be in like his masculine space and to be a provider of knowledge and a protector within his community and uh, I think that there is, uh, there are these instincts that we have that are masculine and feminine, and we're all masculine and feminine inside, right? We both all have both, but, and I think that these instincts that we have that um, uh, drive us more one, one way or another can be really beautiful. And uh, the world wants more of these things. So that will be a video later. And this video is for now, and it's to remind you that we don't really know. We don't really know how important the little moments are. And I think that when we reflect back and we look at like, you know, different like wise sayings, we realize that they were all small moments and they're all small moments that added up to the bigger moments. And we can make those small moments really beautiful, um, very kind, full of grace, we can make our small moments great and in that become that. Sending you so much love and a little dose of hope and appreciation for who you are and the possibilities that exist for you. And I'm sorry if, uh, if life has ever felt demotivating. Um, and yeah, sending you all the things to feel all the ways to find all the pieces that you are and all the ways that the world wants and needs your contribution. <laughs>